A big ruling today in a court battle in our area that's lasted for more than four years. The U.S. Court of Appeals says Rowan County Commissioners should not be allowed to pray at the start of their meetings. NBC Charlotte Defender Michelle Bowden now joining us live with more. Michelle. Yeah, hey there, Fred. It was a 108 page decision that was handed down. The court saying the Rowan County commissioners were acting unconstitutionally, but lawyers in this case say this fight may not be over. It was March 2013 when the ACLU first filed suit on behalf of three Rowan County residents, claiming that when the county commissioners started meetings with a prayer, they were violating the Constitution. Today, the U.S. Court of Appeals agreed. In their decision, the judges wrote, quote, we conclude that the Constitution does not allow what happened in Rowan County. The prayer practice served to identify the government with Christianity and risk conveying to citizens of minority faiths a message of exclusion. The ACLU calls today's decision a victory for all residents to participate in local governments without the fear of discrimination. I found that there one of the people, people who brought the suit against Rowan County, Nan Lund, gave us this statement, quote, all we've ever wanted is for Rowan County to be a welcoming place for everyone, no matter their religious beliefs. And I'm so glad the court agrees that the Constitution is on our side. But one of the attorneys representing the county said in a written statement, all Americans, including public servants, should have the freedom to pray without being censored, just as the Supreme Court found only three years ago. The First Amendment affirms the liberty of Americans to pray according to their consciences before public meetings. And again, this may not be the final call on all of this. The county can appeal to the Supreme Court. Law Supreme Court Lawyers involved in this case tell us they haven't yet made that decision. Reporting live now in Charlotte, Michelle Budden, NBC Charlotte. Okay, thank you, Michelle.